Welcome back to my latest nine ball breakout review. Tim here to break it all down for you. Smash the like and sub to the channel if you haven't already. Building community here, so jump on board. You know, we all gotta get better and just like, you know, get crazy amounts of improvement, which is exactly what we're gonna talk about here today. The name of this video is how to improve in pool. And we're gonna do a deep dive Hey, don't drown in this deep dive that we're gonna go into here. Um, first of all, let's look at this break. Good control of the cue ball. Gets kicked off a little bit of the side there. Man, it would have been like perfect right in the middle with the shot on the one. But uh, made uh, two balls actually on that break, so not too bad. You don't have to crush them on the break, I don't feel anyway. I mean, I'd rather control the cue ball. Here we have a little bit of a tough shot on the one. I'll try to cut this into the corner. It was quite a cut. Got it to go and left myself on the two. So um, I'm going to take a look at this one for a minute here. I kind of am taking my time. And um, I know it can be excruciating, but, you know, I, I remember in the past, months ago, you know, people would uh, give me comments, which I appreciate, and they'd say, you know, why don't you run the balls in order, you know? Why don't you try to do stripes and then solids or something? Because um, I used to just kind of do straight pool. Like, I would just try to hit all the balls in, clear, all, clear the table, and that was what worked for me at the time. And then I tried doing this and tried doing eight ball runouts and found I was actually able to do it. I thought it would take me like weeks and months to get, to get a, ooh, geez, man, did I ever smash the heck out of that one? Why did I hit that so hard? It's crazy. Was I trying to go all the way up and down the table? But yeah, I don't, I must have been. I must have been hoping it would go kind of down the middle of the table and kind of sit in the middle. But anyway, um, yeah, I think I'm getting a little better overall. You know, it, took, it definitely took an adjustment period to start doing break and runouts on nine ball and eight ball and 10 ball because that was a pretty nice shot there. Um, because, uh, you know, you, you got to be like way more precise with your leaves and you got to control the cue ball to have any hope of being able to run these, run, run these racks. You can't just be like, oh, I'll just go here, there, you know, I'll probably end up with a shot on something. You know, this isn't straight pull anymore. I'm having to, you know, really... You know, just adjust, you know, adjust and get better. You know, you gotta make tougher shots, be more consistent. You know, like that one, you know, I'm, fortunately I'm, I seem to be on the edges every time, so I don't know how to keep the cue ball more in the center part of the table, because it seems like I'm on the edge the whole time. Every, every shot I'm out on the edges, so. Yeah, something to think about. Um, but to improve, you gotta you gotta challenge yourself. You gotta put in the reps. You gotta work on your form. You know, you gotta think about the game. All of the above. It's not one thing. It's never one thing. Any problem or situation or goal you're trying to achieve, you know, it's everything. You know, you gotta. You gotta realize when you're getting fatigued, either physically or mentally, and you know, come back to it the next day. And um, yeah, see, I'm on the edge again, just stuck on the edge. And this, uh, yeah, this is uh, this would be a nice shot to make. You know, this would be a nice shot to make, and then you know, go there, there, and. Oh, two or three rails for the nine. 
but I mean, you got to be honest with yourself. You, you know, you got to get to the point where you know enough to know what you don't know. And, you know, I still, I, my form still isn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Um, you know, you got to, you got to get a cue that works for you. You got to, you might have to upgrade your cue. You could get some coaching, you know, that's probably a good idea. You know, listen to other people's advice that, you know, might be better than you. Yeah, here I'm just like not feeling comfortable. Yeah, I'm gonna go wipe off my shaft real quick here. I'm gonna take a good look at this one. I mean, I know, I know it's, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to get a little quicker. You know, I'm trying to go with the feel a little bit more sometimes. But sometimes it helps to take a good long look at it because, like I've said before, you can almost envision the cue ball hitting it and where it's going to go. Sometimes, other times you just get a good feel for it right away. You get a good look at it and you can fire it in. It feels good. But uh, you know the the repetition is the is the biggest thing. You got to put in the hours. And if you need motivation to play, you know, my best advice is videotape yourself. And just upload some video. I mean, the camera, the camera is kind of addicting sometimes. You, know, you get addicted to being on camera. And, you know, you make some nice shots and you feel like you together a nice run and it's kind of like a little piece of artwork you know, it's like a it's like an accomplishment like a work of art that you can that you can post rather than just you know shooting with yourself or with buddies and it's like yeah you might win some games but they're not going to remember it it's not going to be recorded anywhere in history, in the annals of history. Plus you got people rooting against you, so they don't care if you make a really difficult shot. Here I got to clutch up and hit this nine in, and there it goes. So yeah, we'll get into it more in future videos, but thank you for watching.